Hey guys, you know who it is. Well, if you don't, I'm Ashley from the Challenge Rivals 3. It's my rookie season. I'm the wild and crazy one. You can follow me on all social media at MTV Ashley Brooke. Right now, you're watching Aces Recaps. I hope you enjoy it and get as much of a laugh as I do. Bye, y'all. <laughs>
I have brains in my hair. It literally smells like death. Bananas is questioning his life choices right about now. I'm wondering where my life went horribly awry that now I'm putting cow balls in my mouth for a living. <laughs> that is something you should probably question yourself about, you know? Although I'm in my spare bedroom talking about it, so <laughs> I think you're winning here. Everyone despises this. Picture throwing up and then putting it back in your mouth and then swallowing it. That's what this brain tastes like. That's fucking gross, Thomas. We didn't need to know all that, okay? You've just been like, it tastes fucking disgusting and move on with your life. We don't need to picture how it smells and tastes. The rest of the team's finished up and everybody gets their first token or key. Can we please stop? I just hit myself. <laughs> Can we please stop mixing up the language in this bitch? Like, are, are they tokens or are they keys? I need to know these things. It makes me crazy. Devin and Cheyenne are the only ones that are still eating the brains or balls or whatever they chose. And Devin's just, he, he's one of these pukers. He's like the one that he eats all this stuff and he's like, it's all in his cheeks and he's like, throwing up and trying to keep it in but it's just like spewing everywhere just just fucking open your mouth and throw up like a normal human being like you need to sp fucking spray it all over everybody you nasty <laughs> now Kellyanne and Jamie reach it to the next task of would you rather and it is would you rather reel it in or rock it out I said reel it in or rock it out. I feel like this is a new dance. It's gonna like show up. It's gonna be like somebody making a dumbass song that is somehow turns into a fucking top 100 hit called Reel It In and Rock It Out. Reel It In and Rock It Out. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can see it. Anyway, they have to lasso and reel in like a giant tub of fucking 150 pounds of sand or some shit, which is obviously the worst choice in something that you have to do. Unless you're like a fucking, who lasso shit? Fucking cowboys. Um, unless you're a cowboy, a trained fucking cowboy, unless you're Kahuta, then you don't need to be trying to do this. You don't need to be trying to fucking lasso things because it's rarely gonna work out. You're gonna do it like 500 times before you get it. And then the rock it out is to simply throw rocks on top of the barrel. If you get five, then you get to move on. Obviously the better fucking choice, which is why I don't understand when Kellyanne and Jamie pick lassoing. And I'm just like, uh, what? His lasso skills are just far from great. They're not even mediocre at this point, And he looks really awkward fucking doing it. It's entertaining, but awkward. Jenna and Vince choose to rock it out and they're gonna throw some rocks on top of the thing and uh, they actually finish and move on pretty quickly. Like I said, the better choice. Meanwhile, something I didn't expect, Corey and then Ashley chose the lasso route and Corey just quickly fucking whips that shit, pulls it back and they're out of here. Like in another life, Corey was a bullfighter. Do bullfighters do that? I don't even know who the fuck lassos things in real life. Who does that? Tell me down in the comments. I know I'm stupid already. So you can call me stupid down there if you want to. She don't even know who in Lance. I don't care. I don't know. Cowboys, bullfighters, people who have nothing better to do on the farm. I don't know. The next one, would you rather be sleepy or be tired? Where they have to choose to either carry a queen mattress together up these fucking, I don't even wanna call them stairs. It's like tears and tears to never ever land. Or they have to get five tires up the thing. Now, if you think two people, five tires, or two people, one mattress, you would think that the mattress would be easier. Yet only one, I think, team chose the mattress and that was Vince and Jen. Nani and Wes even finished the lasso thing before Jamie and Kellyanne. I mean, come on, we're tired of watching you try this. <laughs> Devin and Cheyenne kick the tires, and then Cheyenne's like trying to get him up the first tier thing, and I love what Devin has to say to her. Shy, they're tires. They roll. Just kick them. <laughs> No lie, I like this kid. So Bananas and Sarah are in first place now and they get to the next would you rather, which is would you rather build the bridge or build a house? Guess what? It's a puzzle. Sarah chooses house and Bananas is just very, very stoked that Sarah's on his team at this point because one, he royally sucks at puzzles and two, she's great at them. Jamie finally gets the lasso. You guys. He finally got it. Let's give him a round of applause. It's here for Jamie. Jamie, I applaud you for not stabbing yourself in the throat after not being able to do that 500 times in a row. After Jenna and Vince finish carrying that fucking mattress all the way up the 
thing. This is what I'm talking about too, guys. If you don't know, this is the fucking thing that everybody's trying to, I don't know what to call that. So after they finish doing that and they're tired as fuck, TJ's like, hey guys, can I talk to you for a second? And they're like, why? They weren't like that, but you know, I would have been. TJ tells them that they accidentally took Dario and Nicole's mattress. So now they have to take their own mattress back up and come back down. <sighs> so they have to do exactly what they just got finished doing over again in this blistering sun. And I'm just like, poor Jenna. Vince can handle it. All in all, that sucks fucking balls. Like for real. Classic Vince and Jenna team. Ah! Bananas and Sarah finish the puzzle and move on. Dario and Nicole decide to do the bridge puzzle and she literally was like out of here like that shit was super impressive girl where'd that come from everybody is starting to die slowly they're just like because the heat is too fucking much. Kellyanne's about to have a panic attack because it's too hot. Pussy ass Nate is now sitting on the fucking thing and he's like, I don't know where my coin is. I don't know where my key is. I don't know where my token is. What is it? <laughs> and I love his little interview part because he makes no sense. Where's our token? We can't find it. I don't remember throwing it away. Well, I certainly fucking hope you didn't just throw it away. Nate? <laughs> like what? Why would that even be an option in your tiny little brain? I don't remember throwing one of those things that we needed to win in the trash can or anything. It's so weird. Anyway, they look everywhere for the damn thing. They can't fucking find it. They think somebody took it and they're probably fucking right. So Bananas and Sarah make it to the last checkpoint, which is would you rather eat a birthday cake or be in your birthday suit? And they think about it for a hot second and they're like, I'm not eating the fucking cake. So we want to get naked? Let's get naked. Now there's two sides to this and I don't completely understand, but I do understand. First, what's everybody's hate with birthday cake? Like, you really don't want any? And then I'm like, oh, they just ate balls and brains. So they probably don't want to put anything else in their stomach. But them all choosing to be naked instead of eating cake baffles me. But on the other hand, it's hot as fuck outside, so everybody get naked. We've done a lot of weird shit on challenges. This is the first time we've been required to strip down and finish a challenge. Naked. And Sarah's all like, Just don't put me in slow motion. Please. Sarah, you're smarter than that. You know by saying that, that they're definitely, most definitely going to put you in slow motion. I mean, they probably would have anyways, but like, you know. Wes does not enjoy seeing Bananas or Sarah naked. Bananas and Sarah look horrible. They look worse than they've ever looked, ever. This is an ugly, peeling, rotting banana. Ugh. <laughs> everybody has their own worries about getting naked. Yet everybody got naked and not one motherfucker ate some birthday cake. It's a lot of wasted birthday cakes out there. I have to worry about my dad bod compared to Nelson's rock hard body right next to me. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I love this photo of all of them walking and Tom so a shame face of his dad bod. Guys, I'm so excited because bananas and Sarah win! And look at this photo. Just look at it, look at it. Naked bananas and naked Sarah for president. Hey, it's better than Trump. Banana says nice things to Sarah about her impressing him because she was able to get through all of this long challenge in the, in the heat and she can't help but go in for a hug. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. There were a lot of people in the comments of the recap from two weeks ago when I asked who thought Wes was sexy. Um, a lot of people happen to think Wes is sexy, but now I have a, I have a follow up question. It's like, after seeing this, do you still think that Wes is sexy? <laughs> Tell me down in the comments. I'm running around getting a sunburn on my balls. This is not a good day to be a ginger. Nate and Christina could not finish because somebody took their key. DJ asked everybody if anybody saw a key or maybe accidentally had a key. Nobody fesses up to shit. And so that's that. Sucks for them. Sucks to be y'all, bro. Bananas and Sarah win and Bananas rips off his towel and pulls one of these naked and TJ's like all right bananas calm down no one wants to see that <laughs> on to my favorite part of the night the winner's dinner bananas and Sarah sit down for their winner winner chicken dinner that had no chicken involved it was actually burgers and nachos I think I'm not fucking sure and they actually talked to each other about what went down on battle of the X's too <laughs> like really talked like he's talking about how much it hurt him and how he really didn't expect it from her of all people on the challenge because he really considered them to be friends she apologizes for putting money 
above their friendship, and Bananas really appreciated the apology. What it's taken me a long time to understand or to admit is that she wanted to give herself uh, the best shot at winning, even if that meant sacrificing the friendship. And um, you know, it took me kind of a while to accept that. Aww, uh, all of the awes. <sighs> My little ace heart is just fluttering. It's fluttering, guys. It's fluttering. Do you see it? It's just, it's fluttering. I love the love, man. I love the love. I love the hate too. So, come at me, bro. They cheers, and I just love it. But it only takes them two seconds to start being bananas again. Here, hold on. Take this knife out of my back. This thing's been bothering me for the last two years. <laughs> oh, I just stabbed myself. I really just stabbed myself. <laughs> I can't be trusted with the knife. So, enough with the love. Let's pick some people to throw in, shall we? Let me stop fucking waving this knife around before I fucking hurt myself. They call down a couple of people and then they get to Devin and Cheyenne. They call them down and Devin is ready to make a deal with Bananas and Sarah that they cannot refuse. He seems very confident in his ability to play this game. And I really like this kid, you guys. I can't help it. Devin promises them the following. One, they will never throw them in. Two, if they win and Bananas and Sarah somehow lose and get put into the jungle, they will allow them to pick their competitor. And three, and most important, consider Devin and Wes's alliance squash. I think that's a pretty good motherfucking deal if you ask me. He knew what he was gonna say, he came in and said it, and now he's safe probably forever. Who knows? I think he might be the one, you guys. I think out of all the seasons so far, this guy might be the one. He just might. So now they're thinking that they're definitely gonna throw in Wes and Nani because like why wouldn't Bananas throw in Wes if given the opportunity to? Yeah, I can't come up with a reason either. Back inside the house, looks like a little friendly game of some beer pong, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and Thomas starts to fuck with Vince. Hardcore. Your team never won last season. Not one time. Dude, don't talk shit. I can talk shit whenever the fuck I want to. You're a pussy, that's what you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, dude. Because you're stupid. I'm stupid? Yes, because you never won, bitch. Oh. Not one time. Hey, Tom, call me a bitch again. I will fold you in half. Bitch. Yup. Vince runs over, takes fucking Tom, and slams him down on the table. People break them up. Bananas now talks to Vince and calms him down. He's telling him that like these people are definitely trying to rev him up and get him kicked out of this house, so don't fucking give in to them. Now Bananas goes up to Tom and starts screaming at him because he thinks he's playing a pussy ass game and blah blah. Let's move on. Nomination time. TJ shows up and tells Vince if he ever does anything like that again in this fucking house, his ass is leaving. And next, it turns out after checking the tapes that Christina and Pussy Yes, Nate, are not completely crazy. That somebody actually did take their key coin token coin key on accident and just threw it on the ground. It was Camilla. I threw it on the ground. <laughs> oh shit. So now they're automatically going into the elimination and Camilla is not fucking happy and now she's going all Camilla on poor TJ. He's just here to deliver the news, you know? I took what I thought was my token. I was focused. I never said it was on purpose. Then why am I going in if they lost it in the first place? Because we asked you a thousand times and she asked you a thousand times and you just looked at it and threw it. What? We have indisputable evidence, honey, I'm, I'm sorry. As voting continues, Banana votes in Wes and Nani, and Sarah votes in Simone and Thomas. Afterwards, Tony's screaming at Camilla, telling her to suck it up and move on. Camilla's rage walking through the house, and she's all, And then I threw it on the ground, what else was I supposed to do? <laughs> she just kicked the fucking door. Now she's crying to Nani. She's, she's bawling out of control. This is not okay, this is emotional fucking abuse of what they're doing. I have bruises all over my fucking legs. While Nathan Christina didn't do shit. And they lost their token and I have to pay for it. Meanwhile, <laughs> Thomas's girlfriend calls and he picks up the phone and it seems as though she's going into the emergency room. We don't really know exactly what's going on, but we hope she's okay. Welcome to the jungle! That one was way too loud. <clears throat> Thomas and Shimon, Thomas and Shimon, Shimon, Thomas and Shimon, 
Shamon. Thomas and Simone show up to the jungle and they're not wearing their uniforms and TJ's like, yeah, what's up? Why are you not wearing uniforms? Thomas informs them that his girlfriend is suffering from health issues and that he needs to go home and be with her, which is a stand-up thing to do. So they have to leave and Simone is very supportive of him. Tom, you did the right thing, man. We're gonna be sad to see you go. And Simone, peace out. Maybe we'll see you another time or something. Mm or something. So now Wes and Nani still have to pick skulls to see if they're gonna go in against Camilla and Tony. If one of them gets a black skull, this jungle is gonna happen. If they both get white skulls, it's not going to. And just so happens they both pick white skulls. Yay, so we have no jungle again. <sighs> They were all set up for one. Whoever set up this fucking jungle is pissed right now. They're like, we did all that fucking work for nothing. <sighs> I quit. So back at the house, Wes makes a toast about winning the elimination, even though he didn't do anything, but he's still gonna say it counts. So they make a toast. We hope everything's good with Thomas and his girlfriend back home. And that's pretty much the end of the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again to Smashly. I just wanna do that every time I say Smash. Thanks again to Smashly for sending me that intro. You're awesome. And I guess I'll be seeing you guys next week for another recap of Rivals 3. Same place with Ace. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, follow me on Twitter if you're not already. Don't forget to subscribe, hit this pretty red button right here cause you want to, I know it. And I'll see you guys next week. And until then, peace out. Guys, it's Kahuta. It's hanging out here in the mountains on the porch a little bit. Uh, just wanted to remind you guys to Tune in to Ace's recaps because she is hilarious and these kids are pretty easy to pick on. Things driving me nuts, man. Anyways, Ace probably has the medical definition reference to torn butthole. She's pretty smart like that. Probably be like a sliced balloon knot or a maybe a bruised brown star or split rosebud, something along those lines, probably more professional sounding.